Have you ever put together a look with a particular aesthetic or vibe that you like on other people, but on you, it just didn't feel right? Almost as if the stars were not aligned? Well, well, well. Welcome to Hair Astrology. Hair Astrology! Yeah! <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. It's a full moon. I'm kidding. Actually, it was yesterday. What's good, everybody? Especially my galaxy girlies. In this video, I, Yamane Girl Mel, who is, disclaimer, not an astrologist, but is a hairstylist and astrology enthusiast, I thought it would be really fun to share my interpretation of the best hairstyle for you according to your zodiac sign, but not, not your sun sign. You are so much more than that. You are the whole sky. And there is a particular sign, a particular constellation that held the planet Venus at the exact moment, at the exact place in which you were born. And that sign that holds the planet Venus does not just hold your fire, but your desire. I'm your Venus. I'm your fire, I'm your, your desire. desire. Coincidence? I think not. It's all connected. Now listen to me before you click out of this video and think this sh this is cuckoo. That part may be true true, but at that point you could say the same thing about determining the best haircut for you based on your face shape or even your color season depending on your skin and eye color. Maybe those are just crazy too, or maybe they're not. And maybe this is just another aspect to your life that helps you identify your identity. That's how I like to use astrology. It's always to help me understand who I am, what I am, where I am, why I am. Although I'm still trying to figure out why I am. Yeah, any housers. There is no harm done in using astrology as a tool to help you develop your personality and even your aesthetic, especially when you wanna feel your most attractive, alluring, confident self. Because just take a look at what happens when you're not in alignment with your sexy sign, I mean Venus sign, and when you are in alignment with your Venus sign. Now, don't worry if you're new and confused. I've got all the information that you need to know throughout this video. We've got a lot of information to cover, so without further ado, let's get to it. First things first, a brief explanation on what your Venus sign means and also how to even check for these things. You probably wanna start there. There's lots of different ways that you can do this. I personally use the website Astro Charts and I punched in my time of birth and my place of birth and that gave me my full chart to look at, which I don't know if I'm prepared to share. I feel like it's a very personal thing and you shouldn't just show anybody, you know? Once you have that down, take a look at where your Venus sign is. You wanna do that first, so if you haven't, you should probably pause and go and come back. We're gonna continue, because now that we know where Venus, the planet, the representation, the embodiment of love, beauty, and aesthetics, where it was placed in the night sky, we can go through what this means for each sign. But I do wanna give an honorable mention to one more sign. Because like I said, we can take what resonates and your Venus sign isn't the only aspect to your chart that channels your aesthetic and your vibe and how you appear and attract others. There is another sign that you can look to in case this one resonates a little bit more. And in that case, I want you to keep in mind your rising sign, also known as your ascending sign. The rising sign is also very important in our birth chart. It is one of our big three. The big three is the sun sign, the one that pretty much everyone knows. Then there's your moon sign, and then the rising sign. So the rising sign represents your outer personality, how you are perceived by the rest of the world, or how you might wanna present yourself to the world. So since this has a huge impact on the image that you present to others, it also has a big influence on your aesthetic, your appearance, your style that you may want to share with the world. So you can always keep in mind both your Venus and your rising sign, and you can definitely channel the two interchangeably, or you know, the Venus sign when you wanna feel extra sexy and you're looking for more romance, maybe your rising sign is what you channel on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, take what resonates, sis. Without further ado, let's get into the elements. The elements. The elements. As we know, or as we know it, there are 12 official signs. Unofficially, there's kind of 13, but 
the 13th, we don't really get to know her. So in the 12 signs of the zodiac, there are four elements. You may have heard of them. The water signs, earth signs, air signs, and fire signs. I'm gonna cover each of these categories, starting with fire, because we are in the season of Aries. Shout out to all my Aries babies. Happy Astrological New Year. And in this season of spring, it's giving sprout. It's giving fresh out of the womb. It's giving brand new bitch, sensuality, and sex appeal. Whew. Is it getting hot in here? Yes. Back to the fire signs. Fire sign Venus placements are just that, fiery. These people are known for making a statement and like to stand out. They are a very bold bunch and can really pull off some statement haircuts, fiery colors, and a lot of daring looks. If you are any of the following signs, I really encourage you to be adventurous with your style because you might just be known for it. Let's take a further look. Venus and Aries peeps, you are known to be powerful trendsetters. Aries are very well known for their leadership qualities because they do start off the astrological year. These people are often starting trends with their groundbreaking hairstyles, especially. And when you see these examples, you know exactly what I mean. Take a look at Re. Okay, look at Rihanna right here. I just saw these pictures on my feed today and I instantly turned to Amanda who does not know much about astrology. And I said, Amanda, what is this giving? What is it giving? What energy is Rihanna giving? You know what she said? She looked at me and said, Aries. How could she have known? We'll put it this way. She looks absolutely stunning ethereal obviously rocking a super cool super unique hairstyle which rihanna has been known to do how many times has she come out with her iconic fiery red or her bold pixie cuts this was literally the most perfect example to show you how dressing according or styling according to your venus sign can make you look just your absolute best ethereal stunning a goddess Truly. Another celeb with their Venus in Aries, Jennifer Aniston. I'm sorry, Miss Rachel. The Rachel. It's giving powerful, it's giving trendsetter, and still easy to maintain. And one more honorable mention to my queen, Lady Gaga, who's also a Venus in Aries, because today on the day I am filming, it is her birthday, wow. An Aries sun and an Aries Venus. And iconic for trying out many different funky hairstyles, most known for her very bleach blonde and bleached brows. Needless to say, don't be shy to be a little bit edgy, maybe going for something that is super sleek or really sharp. Yes, I'm talking about a bob. Or maybe that short and shiny wet look sleek Pixie. These very bold styles give very much Aries energy. Now moving on to my personal Venus sign, the Leo in Venus. What can we say about Leos besides defining them as dramatic maximalists? Well, as we all know, the Leo, it's ruled by the sun, often represented by a lion. There is no lion that this sign is definitely known for loving their hair and being known for their mane. Bye, Mel. <laughs> Also very daring, this is a theme amongst all the fire signs. Leos can definitely experiment with more daring and very dramatic hairstyles. Yes, when I say the bigger the hair, the harder they stare, I mean they're staring at the Leos. Now we're not just bold and we're not just maximalists, we're also glamorous, very luxurious styles. Think lots of gold when you're styling outfits, gold jewelry, and even gold in your hair. Rich yellows or bronzy coppers, rose gold, champagne hues. These look absolutely stunning on yous. And it still gives that luxurious vibe to the hair. I'm gonna use myself as the case study here because when I started adding back these golden highlights, just these subtle shimmers to help make my curls pop, and of course, once I cut my hair into this iconic bob, and especially when I wear it out pretty big, I get the most compliments, like the most compliments. And I truly feel like this is my best hairstyle yet. I feel most like myself. I love that it draws in all the attention. And overall, it definitely helps me channel my inner charisma 
and confidence. So that being said, since our hair is our best accessory, the hair will always look best when it is healthy. So healthy hair with a lot of volume and natural shine and also some subtle golden highlights and just warmth to the hair will give us that glamorous, show-stopping feel that really just attracts all of the eyes. Honorable mention to Pamela Anderson, who also has her Venus in Leo, iconic hair status, as well as Amy Winehouse. The bigger the hair, the harder they stare. Need I say more? Let's move on to our final fire sign, Sagittarius. With your Venus in Sagittarius, you may be very adventurous, and even a little eclectic. Since Sagittarius individuals tend to be very spontaneous, adventurous, optimistic, very much free-spirited, their hairstyle should reflect that as well. So less maximalist and glamorous and more low maintenance and effortless styles. This is where your haircut can really be the style for you. And this is where having naturally wavy or curly hair might be the best time for you to get a curly haircut, something that will help enhance or embrace your natural textures, definitely something with layers, or perhaps something more protective if you have more coily hair and you're going for a protective style, going for a more bohemian look, I'm thinking like the goddess braids, that allows you to be low maintenance and also have a lot of versatility, easy to get up and go and be carefree. These are the hairstyles that you may find helps you feel your most me. Honorable mention to these celebrities, we have Kendall Jenner, who I feel like looks the best when she's just got her natural, I woke up like this, model off duty look, effortless. We have Anne Hathaway, David Bowie. All in all, if your Venus is placed in any of the fire signs, you can go bold, or go home. Don't be shy to make a statement. Go for a strong silhouette, maybe a bold haircut, eye-catching colors and textures, or even play with accessories to really help you channel that fiery passion through your hairstyle. Moving on to the earth signs. Play, so, someone play Michael Jackson. What about? YouTube is not gonna like if I play any more of that, but earth signs. I'm talking Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you are a very practical bunch, very grounded in your nature, pun intended, and therefore classic hairstyles with elegance and sophistication go a long way for you. These placements may appreciate hairstyles that are a little bit more groomed, reliable, professional looking. Starting with our Venus and Taurus, these people embody feminine luxury, and that really could not be more true. Taurus people may find they are very drawn to opulence and luxury, the finer things, one of a kind, unique pieces as well. They are a very romantic peoples. And so that being said, when when it comes to their hair, going for something that really embodies that quiet luxury, my hair but better vibe, think expensive brunette. That whole trend, to me, screams Taurus Venus. It's very natural, but looks also ethereal. Also to stay very classic, really embracing natural texture, and also just really romantic styles, like big waves or updos. Updos that are either sleek or on the more elegant side. Either of these can really show off a lot of sophistication that the Taurus individual tends to have. In general, really channeling your natural inner beauty and maybe giving yourself subtle enhancements with maybe very tone on tone baby light highlights or just embracing your hair's natural color, texture and shine will really help you just glow. Really? 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 You're like, really? Really? Or not. Like, again, don't believe me or don't believe me. I don't make this up. I'm just the messenger here. And you shouldn't even be mad at me because I'm literally telling you that styles that are easy for you to maintain and help you enhance your natural beauty are going to be what's best in order to help you exude that natural elegance and luxury that the Taurus stands for. Just look at Lana Del Rey. When I see her, she totally gives me Taurus energy and I think her hair is stunning. Now, the Venus Virgo is known to be the earthy minimalist, very much embodying a very simple and natural aesthetic. The best looks are very classy, elegant, put together, sophisticated, perhaps sleek, structure. Styles in general that are both practical and polished, these are the styles you might wanna to lean towards. You know, like a classic bob or a professional pony, a sleek bun. And you'll get this if you're a Virgo because you tend to like a lot of natural order 
and cleanliness. So just an overall well-groomed hairstyle, something that's easy to maintain, will tend to go very well with your practical nature. Now that being said, the Virgo is very effortlessly sexy, okay? It's not all business, it's simplicity. Think Julia Roberts or even Kylie Jenner, Blake Lively. These are all Virgo Venuses that look really good with just like long, subtle layers and precision haircuts. Classic looks that give a lot of versatility and an overall simple, clean look. And finally, while we're talking about being earthy, my Capricorn babies. If your Venus is in Capricorn, then you are going to be very polished. I mean, do you not know a Capricorn? That gives very much professional leadership and also powerful. Just like the Taurus, I would diagnose Capricorns with that very quiet luxury type of hairstyle, that your beauty but better, very classic, very elegant, natural and practical looks. Now because Capricorns are often such ambitious, powerful leaders, I also see them with very structured styles. Again, that powerful chic bob, all while embracing your natural color, I think can help you look your best. Like Miss Scarlett Johansson or Alison Brie. Overall, for my earthies, you want to opt for those styles that are elegant, quiet luxury, you, but elevated, polished looks, and overall just really timeless hairstyles. Going for these looks will help keep you simply looking sexy. Now, let's get into the air we breathe. The air signs such as Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Aquariuses, Aquarius, Aquarius eyes, curious eyes. If you wonder what you should look like with any of the following signs, well, you might want to consider a style that is very much, well, stylish, modern, chic, perhaps sleek. Air signs are very known for their ability to communicate, to network, as well as their intellect. These placements tend to be very socially charming, witty, charismatic, God, don't I know a few. And so consider the following when you're planning a hairstyle. For the Gemini, Geminis are bold, they're colorful, and they're also known to be shapeshifters. The Gemini does not mind to be the center of attention and are also known to be no known to be known as the cool girl of the zodiac signs. And to me, nothing screams cool girl like embracing your natural texture. You know, Gemini is an air sign and so sticking with your natural texture is giving very much easy breezy cool girl they're also prone to embodying very youthful as well as bold looks so the gemini can really play around with some fun color and perhaps some more experimental cuts like some asymmetrical haircuts maybe some color blocking peekaboo highlights i would even argue the 2000s chunky stripes gemini's often like experimenting with different hairstyles and since the twins are known for their duality i would say to stick with your natural texture definitely try to keep that very healthy, so that way you can easily play around with maybe different textures, such as the occasional straightening, to really get all of the versatility out of your hairstyle and feel most like yourself. You cannot tie the Gemini down, they are like a kite. They are flying high and they need a lot of movement and flexibility in the sky. Just take a look at Cher, the queen of versatile hair. I absolutely love her with both curls and her really straight sleek style. It's giving fraternal twins, it's giving Gemini. Also, look at Megan Fox. She's been experimenting with a lot of fun colors and I think she looks absolutely fabulous and it's very Gemini of her to do so. So to any other air signs, specifically Gemini, take notes. Now the Libra. The Libra is ruled by Venus and so if your Venus is in Libra, you are extra just, it's giving divine femininity honestly. Also very polished and very timeless. With your style, we want to embody a lot of romance, cuteness, and even that old money aesthetic. So once again, we want to lean into those looks that are a little bit more on the polished side. Perhaps that's a side part with a tuck or even those sleek updos or again, more romantic styles like romantic, elegant updos, soft curls and waves, but since the Libra is a scale, they are definitely into balancing and harmonious styles. So symmetry can really help enhance your natural look, perhaps going for more of a middle part. And I think long, subtle layers, as well as 
blowout hairstyles, and really soft looks that you can further style with accessories like hair bows, perhaps headbands. I can see these a lot with the Venus and Libra aesthetic. Just overall timeless classic styles that are very aesthetically pleasing to the eye is right up your airy, air sign alley. Anyways, finally, if your Venus is in Aquarius, now Aquarius are quite eclectic type of peoples. Perhaps we could say alternative and often androgynous or eccentric. Aquarians are known to be the weirdos of the Zodiac. I like to remind my sister of that, even though I'm very much the weirdo. But in terms of style, they can very much appreciate bold prints, edgy details, and unique fabrics. Because you can be quite out there, you can also experiment with your hair. Once again, we can channel the asymmetric cuts or bold colors, or anything really avant-garde to really embody your free spirit. You know, you could really be your hairstylist's favorite client. You know, I feel like the Aquarius is the one that would sit down and be like, just do whatever. Make me look different. You are very known for your individuality and uniqueness. And so rock an unconventional style to embrace it. Don't be shy to make a statement like Harry Styles. His hair or lack there. Is he bald nowadays? We don't know. Has anyone seen that man? Can we check in on Harry? Remember when I thought he was coming out with a hair care line? Harry Styled? Honestly, missed opportunity. Or it's still the perfect marketing and maybe he's just working on it. You know, these things take time. I digress. Let's take a dive into our final set of signs. The water signs. I am, you know, I, my sun, moon, and rising are all water signs. Can you fucking believe it? <laughs> yes. We peoples are known for our emotional depth and sensitivities, but specifically when your Venus is in any of the water signs such as Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, embodying some enchantment in your hairstyle can really help you channel the imaginative and intuitiveness that water signs possess. You'll see what I mean. Starting off with my Cancer Venuses, I have three words for you. Softies, vintage, and flowy. Or alternatively, moody and sultry, as well as mysterious. Remember that Cancer is ruled by the moon. The moon, which comes out at night. It's a little mysterious, very moody. It's always changing, but yes, sultry. People with a Cancer Venus are also known to almost have very moon-like features, very soft, rounded, romantic-looking features. And that's why more romantic hairstyles, perhaps longer looks, soft curls and waves, and even styling in cute styles with bows or romantic braids, these are going to be very Cancer Venus friendly. Since Cancer is such a nurturing sign, remember to nurture your hair. I think you're gonna look best with your natural texture, and you can add more of a stylistic flair with accessories and maybe some subtle highlighting, but keep that hair healthy, keep it flowy like water, and keep it soft. No sharp lines, no precision haircuts. You want really curved haircuts. Lots of layers and rounded shapes will help keep that softness for that romantic kind of look. And if you look at Sabrina Carpenter, she is very famously right now known to be a Cancer Venus, and she just dresses very romantic, cute, and looks absolutely ethereal. Natalie Portman also has her Venus in Cancer, and just look at her hair. I have no idea what photo we're going to put there. <laughs> well, second last one, we have our Scorpios. Now, Scorpio is definitely on the more dark and mysterious end of the water signs. Think more sultry and intense hairstyles. Scorpios really exude a lot of power and magnetism. They're very seductive, very confident. I can see you really rocking with very intense hairstyles, like wet looks, very intense, sleek, straight looks. We're talking that silk press, silk press. I would keep things mysterious with like deep side parts with hair that kind of comes over here and maybe comes over one eye. Or maybe you have like really, I would see like a sharp bang, sharp bangs on a Scorpio Venus, but like the eyelash bangs that just kind of cover, cover some of your eyes, it's giving mysterious. It's giving sultry. And I would keep this very rich energy with a lot of dark and shiny hair colors. 
I personally find Scorpios to be a little bit more edgy and very sexy naturally. So I don't feel like you have to do too much. Like just take a look at Vanessa Hudgens, Rosalia, and even Kris Jenner. Need I say more? Finally, our last sign is the Pisces. If your Venus is in Pisces, you are very much ethereal and flowy. Might I add dreamy, almost like a fairy. I feel like sticking with those hairstyles that are really soft and feminine. Again, when I say that, I'm talking more round shapes, soft layers, no harsh edges, lots of curvatures and flowiness. That gives like the most romantic kind of vibe. Because I get very pixie, whimsical kind of vibes from a Pisces, I can also see you really rocking pastel looks. You know, if your hair can take it, or bringing that romance and whimsical energy into your hair with a little flower. Or again, those bohemian waves, anything that is giving flowy, that definitely gives that quintessential water sign energy. And then, then, if you pair all of these hairstyles with the outfit, as well as the right colors, you are going to be unstoppable unstoppable i see it in your future and maybe this was just the right video that you needed to see as part of your glow up is that the case you let me know i always love bringing you the videos that you need to see that hopefully you find interesting please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you are just as into astrology or maybe you're now a little bit more interested in learning again i i just learned all this stuff myself i did quite a bit of research for this video as well i used some different resources online i'll share the links below and i also utilized an app that i will put the details below as well it's not free but there's like a free three-day trial and honestly i mean i'm gonna cancel it as soon as I'm done. But it's a really useful resource that also utilizes AI that you can ask absolutely anything in regards to your zodiac sign. I saw someone over on TikTok talking about it, which is also where I got the inspiration for this video. I'm obviously, as an astrology curly, on that sign, pun intended, of TikTok. And since so many people lately have been making videos regarding how to dress according to your Venus sign, I thought it would be fun to talk about how to style your hair. And so that has been this week's video. Up until next week, you know, we'll probably get back to our regular scheduled programming. I think I'm due for like a product battle vibe or maybe a new review or maybe a tutorial of sorts. Only because today I've done a lot of talking. Let me know if you have any video suggestions in the comment section below or any questions. I look forward to seeing you down there and I hope to see you in the next one. This has been your main girl and hair astrologer Mel and I am out. Peace. I did it. I did it! I did it! Bad bitch with her baddie friends and her baddie friends. We got our tea. Of course, today we are going green because I do need a little caffeine. She's an acquired taste. Today, your beauties are only going to get better. Bigger and better, better and bigger, bigger and better, better and bigger. We're just warming up here. <laughs> if this cough does not stop, I need a baby and a baby and a mini Okay, this is going well. Do I need to restart filming the whole thing? I fear, I fear I'm going to talk too much and therefore maybe I just need to go have some dinner and then come back with a fresh new well-fed energy, right? My eyes hurt. There is a lot of eyeliner in there and there shouldn't be. Have you ever felt like, no, that's, it's not gonna. Oh, let's see, let's see. How was that five hours ago? How did I first sit down in this chair? Five fucking hours ago. No! When did that die? I'm gonna go now. I did it, I'm done.